Hey everybody, it's Professor Williams and we're going to look at dot plots today. Dot plots are really one of the simplest statistical plots and with, they're very suitable for small to kind of moderate sized data sets. What we use them for is to highlight clusters and gaps um, and it also lets us look at potential outliers in the data. We like dot plots when we can use them because they conserve the numerical information. In other words, each dot represents one of our data points. The downside is, is that when we have larger data sets, say 30 or more, then dot plots really aren't the way to go. Um, instead, we may be looking at a stem and leaf or maybe a box plot, maybe a histogram, right? Because as the data sets become larger, the dot plot becomes too cluttered to really be able to see anything. So what I have is I have the grams of sugar contained in 20 different brands of applesauce and I'm going to use this data to create a dot plot. So here's my dot plot and my data and what you'll see is that I have a horizontal axis right, that runs from 18 all the way up to 22.5 and so here we have the dot that represents 18.6 and then I had two 18.9s and they're right here and so you can see each dot corresponds to one of these um, data points. What I'm really looking at is I'm saying alright I've got a cluster here, I got a cluster here, I got a little cluster here so these ranges from here really to here, here to here, here to here seem to be where I'd expect to see most of my applesauce sugar values. Now I look up here and I've got two that are separated you know a fair distance from the last group and so my question will be so when I go to analyze this data a little bit further is is it possible that these two are outliers and those are these two values right up here. And so this dot plot allows us to visualize these clusters and these gaps um, so that we can um, go forward with our data analysis. So that's the story of dot plots. As always I hope that you found this useful and thanks very much for watching.